Okay, here we are. Wind Rider Explorer B, ready to fly. All right, I'm gonna walk you through uh, what I learned during this process. So <clears throat> I changed up what I was gonna do on how I was gonna build this, and that's part of the reason why it took so long to get done. I was uh, waiting for parts, also uh, pretty busy with work, but. Um, so I decided to go HD with this. So these two antennas you see are for the Kinex, uh ProSight HD. Um, I <clears throat> was really interested in the um, Parrot Disco. And, uh, you know, d didn't really like the idea of how much control they take away from you on that platform. So I kind of wanted something with that HD capability, um, but in a regular RC type platform. So um, that's why I went with the Pro site. Um, let me just show you things on the outside and then we'll go on the inside. So uh, because I'm not using this bay right here for the video transmitter, I just shaved off the donut and put a piece of white tape over it. Um, on the winglets, if you can see the white tape, I taped them on, which was one of the options in the manual. Um, they're, they're keyed, so they fit pretty well. And then by taping them, um, they should sort of break off easy if, if I hit something or hit the ground. So rather than glue them on and tear up the joint, I just uh, decided to go ahead and tape them on. I, I think it turned out okay. Um, and then over here you can see I have the uh, receiver antenna sticking out and then there's another receiver antenna inside here uh, with the receiver itself and this one taped on as well. Um, on the other side, this, the motor is a um, X-Nova. Let's see if you can see that. Um, Anyway, it's not focusing in right now, but um, X Nova is the kind of motor. It's a 1650, it's a 2206 1650 kV. It's actually a mini quad motor. Um, and then this is uh, an 85 Groppner, the same kind of propeller I use on the um, TBS Caparina. And uh, I get um, almost 900 grams of thrust out of that combination um, so and the all-up weight on this right now is 702 grams so I have more than a one-to-one -one thrust to weight weight ratio um, let me show you the canopy on my previous video I messed up on telling you how the canopy works so let me see if I can do this uh, with one hand there we go so you glue these two pieces together like that and then the canopy slides on the front. Um, so here we have the GoPro. I uh, fashioned a little Velcro strap here um, to hold it on, and um, that seems to be okay. I think it's I think it's going to hold up. Um, then we have the HD camera for the Connect system. Here's the Connect video transmitter, and then the wires going out to these two. Uh, antenna holders. It's not the antenna holders that come with it. These are 3D printed um, off Thingiverse. Um, and then it, the 3 cell 2200 here. And here's a, uh, this is actually a Plush 30, a Hobby King uh, Plush 30 speed control. Uh, and then the motor. So very basic inside. I don't have anything fancy in there. Um, in order to get it to balance laterally, I did have to put a couple washers in here. Um, to add weight on this side to balance out the other side. Um, and I also have a tile in there uh, which will help me locate it if it goes down somewhere. Um, let me see if there's anything to show you on the bottom. Um, just the Velcro strap and there's a piece of balsa there to help hold the battery. And then I use some white packing tape to seal off um, the compartments on the bottom. So as you can see, I didn't put the balsa skids on the bottom and I also didn't put the vortex generators on the top like, like I talked about. I'm gonna fly it as is. 
um, for right now and just see how it goes and uh, and then I can decide on that later so um, that's it for right now uh, I did get it to CG the way it's built and um, you know like I said all up weight of 702 grams so um, that's a, it's a little bit heavier than my um, my Caparina but it's carrying you know this HD system and it's a little bit bigger wing so I hope it balances out uh, the next thing is to maiden it and then I'll do another video and let you know what I think. Thanks for watching.